Good evening. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos on YouTube, but I figured I should bring my YouTube channel back into prominence because it was a big driver for my website. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to be doing the Elliott Wave Forecast for S&P, Dow, and NASDAQ based on the one-year chart. And the first chart I'm going to look at is the S&P 500. So basically what we've got over the past year, we got a zigzag at A, B, C. And then we turned to an impulse up, another zigzag, and then another breakout. We broke 70 and 6 of the C wave, which is around uh, 2880. And uh, it looks like we're going to take out 2954 by the end of the week. And if we do take out 2954, that sets up a third wave. And um, if this is wave one, zigzag wave two into a third wave. The highest target I have would be as high as 3200 short term if it's based on this formation. But based on this formation, this first wave in zigzag wave two, the highest target I have would be approximately 3600 to 3700 to the upside. So wave one, wave two, wave three. First stop would be 3200, and the next stop would be as high as 3700 to 4000 on SP500. All right, for NASDAQ. Yeah, I just found out that um, the Mac has a screenshot software. So I just figured out how to use it for the first time ever. I didn't know I had it. Because my original YouTube video software was broken in, in, um, because of the updates of the Mac, the Mac OS, and um, the software became um, obsolete. But now it's working, so while the, the Mac video sharing software is working, so I'm, at, I'm pretty happy. Anyway, for the NASDAQ, we have ABC zigzag, and then impulse, another zigzag, into a breakout. 76 of the, of the entire corrective wave of the zigzag from 8180 to about 7300 was, uh, 76 of the C wave was around uh, 8,000. We broke it today, barely, by about five points. But I think we're going to take out 8180, and if we get a full third wave, the highest target I have at the first wave was 2,000 points. It would be as high as 10,300. 10,300. But if you get a third wave based on this formation, it would target as high as uh, 8,800. But long term, I'm thinking we hit 10,200 to the upside based on this formation, wave one, wave two, wave three. For the Dow... Well, this software is pretty easy to use. I just <laughs> anyway for the Dow, we have another zigzag from last year. We had a zigzag and impulse, another zigzag wave two into a breakout third wave. When we almost took out 1.00 of the of the first wave, the first wave traveled about uh, 5,000 points. So the next move up could it be as high as, as uh, 33,000, which is my target from years ago, from like 2013. I called 33,000 when the Dow was around uh, 15,000. I called 33,000. People thought I was crazy. But based on this formation, wave one, zigzag wave two, into a third wave, if we break 26,951, which is probably going to happen this week, instead of a third wave to a size 33,000. And um, yeah, but this is a long term bull market. Those are just short term targets. And Long term, I'm thinking when you hit like 50,000 in the Dow, S&P like 5,000 to 6,000, NASDAQ like 15,000. This is just short term targets based on these formations. But longer term, we got a long way to go. That's a wrap. Okay, how do I turn this off? Oh, yeah.